Okay, check this out. So I found this in the fridge. I took it out of the fridge because obviously you didn't want to eat this. You can see I got a bowl here and just put the roots right down in the bottom. Make sure this part is pointing down and submerged a uh, little ways. Already taking off. Just got this out of the refrigerator. Let's check on this a little later and then we'll plant this in the ground once it gets a little more root started. Okay, let's take a look at our onions. It's been a couple of days sitting in the water here. This one's looking really cool. I think really, really liked uh, that water because it's just really starting to sprout up. All right, let's let it keep growing a little bit and we'll check on it a little later. All right, we're at my front garden here. Now I got my onion. We're gonna go ahead and put these kind of close together because they have a similar uh, pattern of growth, kind of a upright, not too bushy, which is good. They don't take up a lot of space, so we can go pretty close. So I'm gonna kind of triangulate. I'm just gonna simply set that in here. It looks pretty good. Point those little things up. Very easy to do. I'm just going to cover it up so you don't see the white. This is the soil has already been uh, fertilized, so it should have plenty of organic nutrients. So just simply just to pack down the dirt around. It's as easy as that. Got my garlic, white onion. I'm gonna be doing some purple onion and yellow. I got this leftover water here. So I'll do the yellow onion, the purple onion, the white onion. This one's the white onion. I have a lot more room over here. I can put in uh, some more. So what you wanna also do is try to do succession planting. So, these are about three weeks old. I'll probably plant some more garlic from the, the cloves today, get a couple more. Same with the onions. So whenever you're eating an onion, cut off, make sure you're leaving the parts that have the little stringy hairs on the bottom where the roots come out. That's the part that grows. So always leave about a inch and a half left. So always cut from the top so it can regrow from the bottom. Very easily, you can, get, you can just throw this these in your garden. All right, so I just uh, gave these some water, and what I did as well is I laid out some mulch basically around it. This is just old uh, carrot top leaves that I just left here to insulate the soil. So I just packed that around the dirt. That's gonna help uh, retain moisture and just give these a little bit of insulation against the hot sun their first day out here they've been just in the shade so it's important to uh, do things like this the insects will start crawling underneath this and eating and breaking down these carrot tops save water and the plants will really like this so you can see i just kind of pack it down i got about an inch thick so this is what um, will really help out saving uh, water and just have overall healthier plants okay let's check out these onions purple onion this one's doing great ready to plant i'll go ahead and put this in the ground this one seems not be doing as well for some reason it's been here longer and the roots aren't as developed as well but you can see that it's got enough growth there i think it should take off this one's just doing a little better a little fresher for some reason. So let's go put these um, in the ground. Again, we'll use these as companion planting because um, a lot of insects don't like onions and garlic. So we'll plant these next to our tomatoes and other plants that might have bugs that want to attack them. All right, time to do some transplanting to the front here. 
Yeah, I think a good spot is going to be right here. Okay, here's the onion right here. I'm going to go ahead and put these in over here as well, right with these other onions. I got a white onion. Things getting big, some more garlic. We'll just move this away a little bit. Make sure you have mulch down. I'm going to go ahead and put one. I think right here is a good spot. We're going about every six inches. So you just got to get it just about like that. That's all you need right there. I'm just going to cover it just like a little bit of dirt there, not much. That should be fine. Now just cover it back, that back up with leaves, with your mulch. Got to have that mulch to keep the soil. Just have those just sticking out of the ground a little bit. Let's get this other one in. This one's not as healthy looking, but maybe once it gets in the ground, it'll be okay. So let's put another one right here. There we go. Kind of make sure the dirt's packed in. And we're going to water this real well. Soak it in real good and that'll those little will pop right out. Give it a few days. There we go. That's all we need right there. Got a potato plant I'm gonna plant as well. So again, keeping all the shorter, kind of a uh, thinner plants in the front, so you can see in the back the tomatoes get sun. The sun is kind of shining this direction, so I don't want to block out the sunlight of any plants. So the shorter stuff, like garlic and onion in the front, tomatoes in the back, and then I'll be pulling these carrots out real soon here. All right, let's water these and we'll check on these later. Again, purple onion, purple onion, garlic, garlic, white onion, and I'm also going to grow some yellow onion. Just Basically, every time I, I eat an onion, I'm going to regrow it. So I'll never have to buy an onion or garlic again. Okay, let's check out. I planted these onions a while back. You can see they're already forming into nice little circles. Two of them side by side. Fresh new onions. Down here, the purple ones. Check these out. See, they're forming into four separate onions. So that'll be nice. It's the red onion. Okay, folks, I want to show you over here when I planted these onions a while back. Check this out. I'll show you what it looks like now. So you remember right here, I planted these white onions. And what it did was, they've been in here for a little bit, but I got end up getting two out of one. Look at this. So they grew right out of that. Now I got two little onions. Pretty cool. They're small, but that's about as big as I got. They didn't grow for as long as I was hoping. But check this out over here too. I got some purple ones. These are real small. So these are the purple ones that I grew. Not sure if maybe I under didn't water them enough or what the reason was, but they stay alive in the ground, which is nice about onions. Um, they've been like this for a couple weeks with no vegetative growth, but you can see they're still firm, still alive. And they're just sitting here, like wrapped up in this little packaging. So these are still edible, they're just really small. So like this. So you can see here, these things are this is the white onion. They did a little better than the purple. Still really firm. I squeeze that and it's like hard as a rock. It's amazing that these will stay alive just uh, sitting in the ground with no vegetative growth coming out of the top. You can see the tips have been dried up for a while.